Hey guys, it's another beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. It is cold and rainy and we gotta we gotta power through and we gotta get some work done. So we gotta get this barn closed up before the girls have their babies. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take a measurement of the opening uh, that I wanna fit the door in and then I'm gonna subtract a half an inch all the way around for clearance for the hinges and clearance uh, so that when it opens and closes. And then we'll lay out our materials, get all of our materials cut, and then start fastening them together. Here's all my materials for this project. I've got uh, one by six by eight foot lengths of cedar, tongue and groove cedar. For the trim, we used a uh, one by four. So I've got the frame cut and then I use a pocket hole jig so I can use pocket hole screws. I'm going to glue uh, all of the pieces right here. I'll glue these connections right here and screw them. And that should make for a pretty tight joint. Nothing better than working on the barn floor here. <laughs> should set myself up a couple saw horses. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue. All of the other doors that I built, I never, I never glued them and they seem to hold up just fine. But this side of the barn gets a lot of exposure. So I thought it'd be a good idea to glue everything. Then I'll just lay a board underneath of the frame once I get it all screwed together and squared up. And then I'll just make a couple marks over here for our diagonal. One there. And one there. I'll cut those and then I'll lay another piece underneath this way and put the marks in that board. So now I have the frame all glued and screwed together. Uh, it's nice and square. So what I'm gonna do now is take my measurement just from the bottom to the top and I'm gonna cut the one by six tongue and groove cedar right here. And then these will go, these will go on the back behind the frame and I'll screw everything down, glue and screw everything down. And then the door will be pretty much done. So once I get all the one by six cedar boards, I like to lay it out a little bit like this because we get what's called cabin grade or rustic uh, one by six cedar and it's at a substantial discount from the nice tight knot cedar uh, it, it, it's just a barn so we're not too concerned if there's minor imperfections or knots uh, it makes it look more rustic and nicer in our opinion some of the boards will have imperfections so i like to lay them out like this and then either cut off the imperfections or hide the imperfections behind some of the, the rail boards. So I'll probably take this one and move it to the outside so that you don't see this piece. But other than that, the rest of them look pretty good for cabin grade. So now I'm gluing the one by six boards on and screwing them from behind into the frame. And I cut down, I cut off the tongue on the first one and then I put them all on and I ripped down the last one so that it's a solid, solid frame. Cream's about to get glued. Cream don't get glued. Just using inch and a quarter deck screws or exterior wood screws. finished now I only have three more to go just gonna stain that I'm gonna stain that with the same stain that we used on the barn itself this is a uh, cider mill it's a Sherwin Williams woodscape product it's held up really well on the outside of the barn and it's been a couple years now and it's faded a little bit from the Sun but it's held up pretty well
So we're getting ready to hang the Dutch doors that we just built. So what I'm going to do is I put down little spacers so that it keeps the door up off the ground about an inch. And then I'll put little spacers uh, around the sides so that I have even gaps all the way around. And then I'll mark for the hinges, get the door hung in the beautiful weather we have today. But it's got to get done. Jace, you might want to get under cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see what these doors look like. Since we built the barn, we've been planning on putting up these doors and we just have to do things one step at a time. We're, we are on a budget, so we don't have unlimited amounts of funds to just put up the whole barn all at once. We've kind of been building it over the years. Um, when we have money for a project, we'll purchase the wood and we'll do that project, but we can't do everything all at once. So it's been a couple years for these. So this is an exciting day. Are you excited? I am, yeah. <laughs> I think they're gonna look good. Okay. Oh, they don't fit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not funny, I believe you. <laughs> So we decided to not do the X on the top part of the doors just because we didn't have enough material. <laughs> so when we hang the second door, uh, I use my shims again. I just shrink the gap a little bit. So I'm only gonna do about a 3 eighths of an inch spacing between the upper door and the lower door. And then we're gonna use a barrel bolt to latch the top one to the bottom one. Here's the finished Dutch door. We decided to not do the X on the top. We just did an X on the bottom. This is putting his paper through the other side. So all in all, it came out pretty well. I kept it about an inch off the ground on the bottom and then about a half an inch all the way around the door. We have a, there's a little barrel bolt in there. Grab your paper so it doesn't get wet. There's a little, uh, barrel bolt right there to keep the doors together so that when we open them we we'll slide them over this way I put another I put another little latch right here so when the doors are open we can just do like that I just got one more door to build for the other side and then that's it for the Dutch doors thanks for watching see you on the next video bye